Excuse me, Fisk. Would you like to hear about our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? It's a nice office, but I feel like you need maybe a few more chairs. There's a couch in the corner. But like overall. Writing your memoirs? Don't forget the hyphen between spider and man. Get the chopper ready. I won't be long. I'm surprised you made it this far. But your foolishness ends now. Sure about that? I think my foolishness will continue for a very long time, sir. Uh, you do know I can still see you, right? Eight years of this insolence. Oh, well, that's new. Oh, for me? You shouldn't have. Gotta wait for nobody. Imagine coming to a job interview with this guy. The threatening presence. Oh, oh. I'm fine, I'm fine. Well, what at least you broke doing? it. Wait, how did that break? Wait, how did that hit his window? I got shot. I guess this one will help. Imagine that we went through the window and just killed him. What's wrong, Willie? You seem angry. I will destroy you. Bro, that was a you nice desk. Shot. There was no need for that. There was no need. That was your own desk, bro. Fisk, I gotta give you credit. For a guy with no superpowers, you can really hold your own. You're out of your depth, boy! He says as he's webbed up and punched in the face. Ooh, there's a little tree behind you. I like that. Come on, let's go, let's go. Toro, come on, bro. Okay, okay, you got me there. Fair shot, fair shot. I'll give you that. That don't hurt your hand. I know that you're big, but that's still a pipe. You ain't gotta hurt a little bit, don't you? Everything that's wrong with this city. Really? Have you seen the traffic? Got him. Huh. I was gonna say the same to you. You know what to do, man. Surrounded. Were you guys just waiting behind his office in case we came through this wall? Everyone's engaged. Boss is alive. That's not fair. How is it not fair? There's multiple of you. Like, oh, my bad. Wait, what the fuck? Are those Fiskus dudes out there? Or are those the police? Oh, let's get up here where it's safe. Oh, they take Pilates classes, I'm guessing. Punch your men. That's not on them. Oh, whoa. What did I just do? Oh, I'm checking my Twitter. Hang on for a second. People take the Daily Bugle seriously? No wonder everyone's misinformed. You're a smart man, Albert. Oh, right into the flames. I don't oh, know, you sound a little insecure. What do I pay you for? Apparently you get punched in the face. Man, are the quips of Spider-Man running through me? Like, they're not great, but I think the energy is it, rubbing off of me. Probably a three out of 10. Hold this. All right, bro, you done? You done? We done with this? Nah, I need to heal. Oh, oh, lucky. Your head is so shiny. He said you look like Mr. Clean. Impressive. Oh, now you're impressed. Come on. It felt cartoonish. I feel like all I needed was a cartoon sound effect when that thing bopped him on the head. Bro, how much health do you have? Where's his health meter? See, this is why the Sinister Six not gonna hire you, my boy. Oh no! He's about to bane me! Alright, never mind. Weave! See, why would you pay for glass floors? This is what I'm saying. Just didn't seem very smart of you. Bro, how are you this good of a fighter? You're just a human. Yeah, what happened?
happened? What happened? He was talking shit before. Look at him. Let him hit the ground. Nah. See, this is why I can't be a superhero. I'll be honest. I would have let him hit the ground. Should we kiss now? <laughs> I only yeah, like you later. as a friend, Fisk. I like your bracelets. They look good on you. Honestly, the fact that that's the extent of his injuries is impressive. Finally off the Rikers, huh? You know, I think you've got more enemies in there than I do. If you think this will be more than a minor inconvenience... Your building well, blew go. up. Hey, good luck, Willie. I have a feeling you're gonna need it. Idiots! I'm the one who kept order in this city! One month! In one month, you wish you had me back! I'll set a reminder on my phone, all right? Don't worry about it. The Kingpin is heading to prison. End of an era. I feel like I should celebrate. Maybe take a vacation. All right, cool. I think now we're allowed to actually explore a little bit. Health increase plus 10 health. Love that for me. Skill point. Love that for me. I got a burp. Hang on. I edited out the burp. Don't worry about it. All right, so we got one point. Uh, let's pick the one we want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know how the game works. All right. <clears throat> we got web throw. I do like web throw. We got a defender. If you change right before you get hit, you'll shoot them in the face. That's actually kind of useful. Like, while I like web throw a lot, I feel like this will actually save my ass a bit more for when I get cornered. Because then I'll be able to, like, stun the enemy real quick. The flying kick is also one of my favorites. God damn it. I'm going to go with practical. So I'm going to go with perfect dodge. Because that's just practical. You know what I mean? All right. Basic attacks. I pretty much know the majority of these. I love when video games have character bios. I don't know why, but for some reason, it just I, I, I just enjoy it. All right, cool. Oh, you're right. I forgot. In this one, the map is just completely done. Tomorrow is the anniversary of the hashtag Rhino Rampage of 2014. Candlelight vigil at St. Patrick's Cathedral at sundown. All are welcome. Rhino. Normally, he's the villain that's like not pure evil. You know what I mean? Like he's a bad guy, but he's not a bad guy sometimes. So just to see that he like actually did something worthy of there being a candlelight vigil, dude. How many times do I have to tell this lady I don't walk cats? Doggos and puppers only. This is very realistic. I gotta give them credit. These tweets, are, were they, did they steal these? All right, this right here is a perfect encapsulation of political discourse on Twitter. I find this person's rant so entertaining. Yeah, the guy's a piece of shit. No, he's right. And the argument about if a burrito is a sandwich at work continues. I don't think a burrito is a sandwich because it's like one bread wrap. It's not like two bread wraps. You know what I mean? It's not between something. It's in something. So I think it's not a sandwich. All right, let's get to business. Where are we going? Go to work. Parker, where are you? The committee will be here soon. We need to run an equipment check. I'm almost there. Blocks away. Uh, guess I'll just do it myself. No, right, relax with the it's attitude. God, I love the amount of detail in this game. Enthusiasm, but sometimes it gets him into trouble. Better get there before he hurts himself. Yeah, he's gonna need somebody to hold that, uh, what, it, what does he do again? Mechanical engineering? I was gonna say that stethoscope, but that's a doctor. Never mind. Well, like, you know, a biological doctor, not a mechanical doctor. Shut up. Hour? Alright, so should I skip some web... The Daily Bugle's right here? Really? I See, I grew up with the Tobey Maguire Spider-Mans, right? So because of that, when I think of the Daily Bugle, I think of the Flatiron Building, which is a real building in New York. Like, that's where it took place in uh, Spider-Man 2, if you can find it. So I'm going to pretend I didn't see that, honestly. That's their side office. It's still the Flatiron building. You know, as a kid, I used to think that the Daily Bugle was an actual, like, newspaper. Like, I was so into Spider-Man, it never crossed my mind that it was, like, a fake newspaper. So when I first went to the, um, the Flatiron building, I don't remember when I first went. I just know, like, early on, as a kid, I would look at it and be like, where's the sign that says Daily Bugle? That doesn't make any sense. Are you telling me that media and reality are two separate things? Come on. Stop playing with me. I think that's when the depression started kicking in. Alright, where are we going? Alright, we're almost there. Totally inconspicuous that Spider-Man always comes to this location at the same time, five days a week. I'm sorry I'm late. Not used to the face, dude. I'm not. <sighs> Oh, that's not foreshadowing anything. I'm sure this is fine. You started without me. 
The Grant Committee's director will be here soon. It's fine, Parker. I invented this equipment. I think I can handle it. I like your turtleneck. Power dampener. Oh, man. Um, maybe we should abort. Not yet. She had a joke, but I think it was inappropriate, so I held it in. Dr. Octavius, are you okay? <coughs> Another setback. <coughs> but we're close. You guys have the worst timing possible. Y'all don't knock? You ring? Is anyone hurt? No, it, it, it was all the, my fault. The Just my self-esteem. Energy levels exceeded our expectations. From a certain viewpoint, that's a very positive development. It doesn't smell very positive. Uh, that's me, actually. I had a burrito this Let's morning. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. <coughs> Is there somewhere else we can discuss this? Sorry. You know, I got the tummy rumbles. Maybe you should take the rest of the day off, Peter. Been but here for we'll 30 talk seconds. Later. Am I still getting paid, sir? So you can take the rest of the day off, sir. I just walked that in. Was a disaster. How could the dampener have failed? I know Doc said take the day off, but I have to figure out what went wrong. I'm not used to the face. I'm trying so hard. I'm not gonna complain about it too much. I'm just saying it. I'm struggling here. I think we've got samples of every type of prosthetic in existence. What's this? Prosthetic connection, possible rejection of implants, infection, inflammation, pain, coagulation. That doesn't sound good. Gross motor function. Chest sensors, pectoral muscles. I don't know if the science is actually good. The CPU is in the shoulder. Good to know. Oh, look, a little treadmill. Doc began them gains when Peter's not around. I like to explore. Sorry. What's Doc's this? made huge breakthroughs his whole career, but he's always been upstaged, usually by Oscorp. This time, it's going to be different. Yeah, I'm sure nothing's going to go wrong. A guy named Otto Octavius getting octopus tentacles. It's all going to be good. It feels so long ago. I interned for Doc in college. He made me realize I could do as much good for the world in a lab coat as I could in tights. Maybe more. Yeah, he was talking about his job as a stripper, and then the Spider-Man thing came in after. All right, let's go. Periodic table of elements. Good to just have that handy. Ooh, a recorder. Let's eavesdrop. Today's the day. Grant review. We're ready. The work has progressed at a remarkable pace. Yeah. I honestly never thought we'd get the tensile actuator back to an acceptable tolerance. But Parker. Mm-hmm. The boy has an eye for gorilla science like none other. I know a lot about gorillas. Just as I was ready to order a custom machine replacement part, he returned from the hardware store with a bottle of solvent and a toothbrush. Mm-hmm. Bang. Actuator problem resolved. The boy is a genius. Respectfully, why didn't you think of that? <sighs> a chronically late genius. It's already 10 after. Where is he? Surely he couldn't have forgotten today's review. Sorry I let you down, Doc. I mean, you did your best. You were saving the day. Octavius Industries scaling. Announce prototype. Get further meetings. Uh, we're in October, so we should be around there. Uh, announce... F mm. Announce prototype. Get further fundings and meetings with tech companies in the area. Begin consumer model. Open second lab. Start construction. Manufacturing plants. Testing trials. Lab. In six months? Respectfully, sir. You're going from prototype to mass production in six months? A little ambitious, don't you think? Limited testing. Large-scale trials. Branding and marketing. I mean, I'm glad you have it planned out, but, like, that's a lot to accomplish in one year. Then again, you guys are, like, two of the smartest people in the universe. I feel like if anyone could do what they could. And I'm sure they will with nothing no, nothing bad happening. This guy's name, Otto Octavius. Doc Ock, two separate people. Never heard of them. Not touching the radio. That's a copyright bomb right there. All right, what's this? Oh. Ooh, you are in bad shape, little guy.
Yeah, you fucked see up. See what's wrong with you. Oh, the best part of the game. Oh, I love this. All right, this is where they have some really like next level puzzles. The puzzles in this game are my favorite part. I'll just be web swinging or fighting. I'll be like, come on, man. When's the next puzzle? Oh, man, this is great. Circuit burned out. Damn it. If I had been here to do the pre check, I would have caught this. All right, inventory. Let's go. Oh, man, I wonder which one I can put. Listen, the puzzles in this game, in case you couldn't tell by my sarcasm, um, I'm not a fan. Hmm. Did I do something stupid? I think I did something stupid. I did. Ah, yeah, you guys tripped me up real good. No, wait, nope. Hang on, I think I had it right the first time. Nope. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, am I... Am I just very, very dumb? Nope. What are you doing? That was an accident. All right. Oh, I did nothing wrong. I just fucking Got it. have the spatial reasoning of a toddler. My bad. Man, wouldn't it be great if this is how easy okay, it was to be a scientist? Servo control. Just match up a couple of fucking lines right there. Top mind of the world. Alright, see, real real easy. I'm also probably gonna skip these puzzle sections. Uh, just cause, like, does anyone even care about this? I don't know what they were thinking. Like, the whole game is extremely polished, well thought off, uh, thought out, but, like, they just phoned it in with this part. I don't know, man. Nice. I feel like you could have done something okay, a little more original. Next. I feel like I used to play something like this on cool now math games as a kid. Alright, cool. We fixed everything. I earned my doctorate. If this is how easy it is to be a PhD student, sign me up. Let's I went see to college for this. How you doing, buddy? How's your arm? Good as new. Look at you, full range of motion right there. All right there. See, looking good, buddy. I'm gonna name you. Hmm, I was gonna name you Alfred the Arm for the alliteration. Been Armando. The for the prosthetics. Your name is Armando. Me to review his work Get it? At time. May as well dig in now. Arm. Ando? Armando? Uh, uh, no one's laughing. All right, my bad. Peter, thank you again for doing these blind reviews. Peer review is the backbone of great science. You know, as we've prepped for the upcoming fitting, I felt an itch in the back of my brain. Is this really the best method of limb replacement? Silly, I know, but I keep thinking, might there be another way? Like biological? I mean, personally, like, um, I know prosthetics are like already exist in real life and advancing prosthetics would be really dope. I think it would be also kind of cool if we figured out like a way to like give someone an injection and they just grow their arm back. But I could see that going very badly. So, you know, what? on second thought, let's stick with the prosthetics. I think that's probably smarter. My only thing is I'm afraid of the eventual robot overlord Doc uprising that's going to happen. Contact material for the prosthetic. Because, like, once we perfect making human body parts out of robot parts, that's great for people that need them. I'm happy for them. They deserve that. I just know that immediately what's following after is we're going to have goddamn Terminators. All right, I'm probably going to skip this part, too. All right, cool. I did it. Woo. Fucking genius I am. Hydrogel polymer composite. Strong, but there's a lot of impedance. Better tell Doc to keep looking for other materials. All right, now what? All right, cool. We did a whole eight-hour right. shift in about five minutes. I should get out of here before I screw things up for Doc even more. Additional spectrograph projects are now available in the lab. I'm not doing that now. I might do them maybe, like, when I'm not recording, I'll just cut through. Because I think you get... Don't you get a reward for that? Do you get, like, a special suit? Or, like, XP? Damn, my shit is busted. Spider-Man, it's Yuri. Fisk make it to Rikers yet? Not Rikers. Our boy qualifies for the VIP treatment. He's in the raft. Ah, joining Scorpion, Electro, and the rest. Fisk should be honored. 
That's a steamed company. Oh look, there's a six square that's empty. Foreshadowing, perhaps? For you, Yuri, anything. I'm on my way. Also, random thought that just popped in my head. So there's a comic book where huh. this Spider-Man looks like Jameson's got a new episode out. Oh my bad, I wasn't I talking. My Go ahead, one interrupt. fan thinks about the fist takedown. This is just a fact. I love these. <laughs> where listeners like you discuss the issues affecting our city with Pulitzer Prize winning two time, two time Pulitzer Prize winning former publisher of the Daily Bugle. Hey, blood the book. And and as always. If you order Mr. Jameson's book, Spider-Man, Threat or Menace, within 24 hours of our broadcast, you'll get an autographed copy at no extra charge. No personalization, don't ask, not gonna get it. <laughs> I know one of your fans love you so much. With J. Jonah Jameson, alerting you to the threats you don't even know about. Let's dive right into the calls. Speak. Okay, so not for nothing, you gotta give Spider-Man respect for taking down Wilson Fist, right? Ah uh, yes, Brooklyn Plumber. Is that right? Tell me, are you a police officer? Prosecutor? Maybe an award-winning reporter with decades on the job like me? Totally not an elitist. Uh, no, I'm a plumber. Oh, good. And we respect the working it's class in this house, sir. And shut up! Let me nah. explain something to you about crime boss. As soon as one goes down, every punk with a gun, a tracksuit, and a drawer full of gold chains decides he's the next godfather. Yeah, you're totally not stereotyping. Have a in the street, but does that grip-headed moron give a damn? Of course not. It got on TV. That's what counts. <laughs> yeah, well, I can get copper pipe without paying kickbacks now. So till that gang war starts, I'm on the webhead side. And you'll be singing a different tune when three new mobs are lining up to charge you triple for that same pipe. Or just break your legs. Goodbye! Sorry about the concrete <sighs> taxpayers. Someday, Jonah, I'm gonna get you to say something nice about me. Someday. Hi, people. Hey, Hello, citizens. That lady is standing through that man's body. I think you could like high five people. Yeah, you, you can. I know you got the money, buddy. I, I'm I'm actually broke. I'm behind on rent. Here we go. Here we go. What's up? What's up? Yeah, that's me, Spider-Man. Double high five. Enjoy that. That hurt your hand. My bad. Listen, I throw cars at this point. I think Spider-Man's actual max strength is like a lot more than we typically see him use. He just holds back because he doesn't want to hurt innocent people or even the criminals that he fights. You know, because he's a good person, one of my favorite things about this hero. Another thing I love about Spider-Man that I think they captured this game really well is that I feel like Spider-Man is supposed to be a hero of the people. Like, he's supposed to be helping people out. He's supposed to actually give a fuck about the little guy, right? Like, with other heroes that, you know, they're still cool heroes and everything. A lot of them get so wrapped up in their superhero shit that all they do is, like, fight evil, but they never do anything necessarily good. It's just fighting evil. I love that Spider-Man actually has, like, a dynamic with people in the city. He cares about them and their well-being beyond just punching people in the face. You know, it actually makes me feel like he's a human being. A good person, not just somebody who's having, you know, a joy ride with their powers. Hello, generic police building. It's very square. I don't think it really looks like that in real life. Now that you quit smoking, what do you tell people when you come up here? That I need a break from their crap. Fair enough. Aren't you a ray of sunshine? So, why'd you call? Oh, she's need eating a the Nicorette guns. Policeman's ball. You got a black and white suit? Uh, Not yet, but maybe in the there. next game if you've seen we the trailer. Spent too much integrating Oscorp surveillance tech. Worth it though, right? It was. Till an hour ago. The whole system went down. Citywide. Every tower. How? They tell me someone sabotaged the central server, and now all the towers are offline. Hmm. Inside job? Maybe. We'll figure it out later. Right now, we need to get the towers back online. Fast. And you called me? Aw, that's sweet. I called someone I could trust. Plus, the signals are scrambled, and we have no idea how to fix it. Ooh. I love a challenge. You break it, you buy it. I thought you trusted me. Let's take a look at this tower. 